One day, in the kingdom of Salum, a commoner was being oppressed by the nobles in a palace courtyard. One of the nobles there instructed the commoner to use the magic he had learned. However, when the commoner unleashed his fire magic, its attack power was very weak and couldn't even harm the nobles. The nobles mocked the commoner for his futile attempt to learn magic. In this world, magical power is not only measured by the effort put into learning it, but also by bloodline and talent. So, commoners cannot use magical power if they only strive to learn it. Therefore, the noble immediately demonstrated the true fire magic power to the commoner. In the end, the commoner died from the magic attack he had just received. However, the commoner did not take the noble's words seriously. Instead, he became even more obsessed with magic, and if given a second chance at life, he wanted to perfect the magic he had learned. Apparently, his hope became a reality, and he reincarnated as the seventh prince of the Salum kingdom, retaining memories from his previous life. Prince Lloyd. At first, he was confused by the situation there because he had not yet realized this. Lloyd saw many beautiful and sexy maids in front of him, and he accidentally released his fire magic power, damaging the roof of his room. Of course, the maids were surprised that the newborn Prince Lloyd could unleash magic like that. Even baby Lloyd immediately read all the magic books in the palace library. Moreover, Lloyd refused to be breastfed and preferred to read magic books. This child is truly crazy. Ten years passed, and Lloyd always looked for opportunities to escape from the maids to read magic books in the palace library. Lloyd did not care about wealth, throne, titles, or anything else. All he cared about was magic. Lloyd could also spend his time studying magic because he was the youngest prince in the Salum kingdom. There was no obligation to accept the royal throne. All relatives and nobles in the Salum kingdom knew that Lloyd was a genius child, like William Bolt, their magical ancestor. When Lloyd managed to sneak into the palace library, he began reading all the magic books he hadn't read yet. Some time passed, and one of the maids named Silpha, who was my first wife, found Lloyd and immediately gave him sword lessons as usual. <laughs> Actually, Lloyd was only imitating Silpha's movements with his magic. Lloyd also knew that Silpha was restraining herself while fighting him. However, Lloyd's weakness was his small body and inability to match some of Silpha's moves. Therefore, Lloyd immediately cast four spells at once. Lloyd couldn't spend too much time practicing swordsmanship like this because he wanted to read magic books again as soon as possible. But unfortunately, Silpha still won and she immediately hugged Lloyd in admiration for his effort to match her height with Silpha's. Moreover, Silpha was fascinated by Lloyd because she knew that Lloyd had used two spells at once during their sword practice. In Lloyd's mind, he wouldn't tell Silpha that he had used four spells at once before. If this was known, it could become a topic of conversation among the nobles. Using four spells at once at the same time is a difficult feat for other nobles. After finishing their sword practice, Silpha invited Lloyd to bathe with the other maids as usual. Lloyd was accustomed to this situation, but he actually hoped to bathe alone. However, the maids who were infatuated with Lloyd always urged him to do anything with them. They even argued about who would sleep with Lloyd. Although these sexy maids were infatuated with Lloyd, Lloyd still didn't care about them and preferred to read magic books alone. Well, I should be the one there with the maids. In the middle of the night, Lloyd sneaked into the forbidden underground library of the palace. He knew the location of the library thanks to the maids who inadvertently mentioned it. Although the library door was heavily guarded, Lloyd could still easily enter with his magic. Then Lloyd immediately broke the seal of the forbidden library door and began to enjoy reading some books there. Some time passed, suddenly a demon sealed in one of the books appeared and spoke to Lloyd. The demon, Grimoire, was amazed by Lloyd because he managed to break the seal of the door that had been painstakingly made by ten wizards in the past. Therefore, Grimoire asked Lloyd to release the seal from the book. The demon's seal would actually fade over time, but Grimoire still wanted to release it as soon as possible. Grimoire also promised to give Lloyd gold as a reward if Lloyd released the seal of the book. But Lloyd couldn't be fooled by Grimoire because he knew that the gold was fake. Moreover, Lloyd didn't care about Grimoire and continued reading magic books there. Lloyd also intended to seal the library door again when he finished reading the magic books tonight. Of course, Grimoire trembled because he didn't expect Lloyd to know his trick. Then the demon offered gentle lessons in ancient magic to Lloyd. After hearing that, Lloyd was interested and immediately broke the seal of the demon in the book. Grimoire didn't expect Lloyd to be too foolish to trust him. Grimoire began to teach ancient magic and directed it towards Lloyd. <laughs> Yeah.
Lloyd managed to withstand Grimoire's magic with his magic barrier. Lloyd was amazed because Grimoire's magic was very ancient and unique. Even Lloyd challenged Grimoire to use other variations of magic. Of course, Grimoire served Lloyd's request and continued to attack relentlessly. However, Grimoire's magic couldn't penetrate Lloyd's barrier. Instead, Lloyd intentionally absorbed and felt the effects of Grimoire's magic in his index finger. Lloyd was like a masochist who, when receiving pain, became more insane and enthusiastic. Even when Grimoire used a double mantra chant to attack Lloyd, Lloyd's barrier still couldn't be broken. After Lloyd learned Grimoire's ancient magic, now it was his turn to give Grimoire a magic lesson. He placed many barriers around the room and bookshelves, then Lloyd immediately recited magic spells in a different way from other wizards and attacked Grimoire with a sharp look in his eyes. <laughs> After Grimoire was defeated, Lloyd immediately restored the room to its original form. Grimoire had submitted to Lloyd because Lloyd's magical power was incomprehensible. Lloyd admired Grimoire because he couldn't die even though he had received such great power. Therefore, Lloyd wanted to try attacking Grimoire again. But Grimoire begged for mercy and promised to become Lloyd's familiar. Although demons like Grimoire couldn't die, they could still feel incredible pain. Then Lloyd agreed to Grimoire's promise and instructed him to transform into a smaller form. Grimoire immediately transformed his body into the size of a mouse and still had evil intentions to take over Lloyd's body. But unfortunately, when Grimoire attached to Lloyd's body, he felt a tremendous amount of mana inside Lloyd's body. Even his magic pathways were winding. Grimoire became frightened because he was currently facing a human like a high-level monster or demon. <laughs> Some time passed. Albert, Lloyd's older brother, approached Lloyd who was reading magic books in the library as usual. Albert invited Lloyd to join the usual magic shooting practice conducted by Albert. Albert is the second prince of the Saloon Kingdom, proficient in martial arts and literature. There are rumors that he will be the next king. Therefore, Albert has the right to use various facilities in the palace, including the magic shooting training grounds. Additionally, Albert is always surrounded by nobles there. By the way, every prince in the Saloon Kingdom has their own maid, and their number is quite large. After Albert finished his training, it was Lloyd's turn to practice there. But Lloyd wouldn't take it seriously because he just wanted to be an ordinary person. If his powers were known by the nobles and his family, he would surely be obliged to claim the throne next. The nobles weren't particularly interested in Lloyd, but Albert was. Albert knew what Lloyd had just done and deliberately let Lloyd practice there for a while longer. And indeed, when Albert and his followers rested in the VIP room, Lloyd was happy because he could practice more magic there. The nobles asked Albert why he was interested in and paying attention to Lloyd. To them, Lloyd is indeed skilled in magic techniques, but during magic practice, he's just an ordinary prince. Albert explained that their vision was not sharp because Albert knew that Lloyd intentionally did such training. Lloyd deliberately targeted all the targets using the same magic pattern. According to Albert, that was something great, and he believed that Lloyd would become even greater in the future. Lloyd's strength would also be useful for the Saloon Kingdom. Back to Lloyd. Lloyd plans to practice magic by reciting a dual spell like Grimm. Of course, Grimm said that it was impossible because it requires two mouths simultaneously. The dual spell is a special magic technique specifically for demons. But Lloyd insisted on doing it using Grimm's help. Lloyd immediately absorbed Grimm's body and merged Grimm into his right hand. Of course, Grimm was surprised that Lloyd could do it so easily. Then Lloyd instructed Grimm to recite the high-level fireball magic spell, and Lloyd would also recite the same spell. However, when they did it together, Grimm was surprised because the way they recited it was very different. Grimm couldn't even keep up with Lloyd, which resulted in Grimm feeling an extraordinary pain in his body. After Lloyd cancelled his spell, he explained that it was his spell scroll. With Lloyd's method, he could recite many magic spells at once to shorten the chanting time. Grimm grumbled a bit because he could only recite three spells at once. Then Lloyd had the idea to control and use Grimm's mouth when reciting magic spells. That way, Grimm didn't need to use his own power and only provided the mouth facility for Lloyd. Of course, Grimm was even more surprised because Lloyd was a crazy kid. <sighs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
It turns out that Lloyd's power is too great that he can split the sky and turn it dark like at night. This was also seen by the nobles, but they didn't know what was happening. Fortunately, the event only lasted for a moment, and the sky returned to clear again. A few days later, the incident of the split sky was considered a phenomenon, and news spread in the newspapers that it might be a sign of an impending disaster. Of course, Grimm and Lloyd, reading the news, reacted indifferently. Then Lloyd saw another news in the newspaper that a rank adventurers had successfully completed the dungeon and obtained a lot of gold from there. They even got many items containing magical powers. Lloyd was very interested in this news and wanted to try exploring the dungeon. But Grimm stopped him because if Lloyd suddenly disappeared, all the nobles and Lloyd's family would be confused. Then Lloyd had the idea to create his clone made of wood with magic. Not only the outer appearance but all parts inside the body could easily be copied by Lloyd. The maids would surely be deceived by Lloyd's clone. But the main problem was Silpha, who was very obsessed with Lloyd. Therefore, Lloyd deliberately separated Grimm's soul from his body and put Grimm's soul into the Lloyd clone. Meanwhile, Grimm's body was merged into Lloyd's original body temporarily. This way, Lloyd could go and rely on Grimm to act as Lloyd in the palace. They could also communicate with each other thanks to Lloyd's magic flowing into his clone's body. Initially, Grimm wanted to do his evil deeds because he could finally get a perfect body like this. But Lloyd suddenly contacted him and said that he was grateful to have a good and obedient familiar like Grimm. After hearing that, Grimm cried and cancelled his evil deeds. While they were still communicating, Lloyd saw a cute girl named Tao fighting many orcs in the forest. Lloyd immediately observed from behind the cliff because he was interested in the girl's strength. Lloyd also intended to find out the location of the dungeon through Tao. Lloyd once read in one of the magic books about a technique called Kijutsu which relied on breathing. If you're confused, it's key power in China. After Tao defeated all the orcs there, she immediately shouted harshly at Lloyd who had been watching her from the beginning. Of course, Lloyd and Grimm were confused because Tao's vision turned out to be quite sharp around her. Initially, Lloyd wanted to show himself directly to Tao, but Grimm stopped him because Lloyd's identity could be revealed. Tao didn't get a response from Lloyd and went there immediately because she thought Lloyd was an enemy. But when Tao saw the teenage Lloyd, her heart melted because she saw how handsome Lloyd's face was. Actually, Lloyd was greatly helped by Grimm's dual spell because he could change his appearance by combining Albert's body shape and Lloyd's face. Then Lloyd introduced himself as a novice adventurer named Robert. Tao was completely infatuated with Robert's handsome face, even thinking of getting engaged to him as soon as possible so that her family wouldn't look down on her anymore. Moreover, the men Tao knew only like gentle and weak girls like nuns. A brutal girl like Tao could never get a boyfriend or husband if the men she met were like that. Therefore, Tao was determined to win Robert's heart and fell in love with him at first sight. Then Robert wanted to know about the dungeon from Tao, and Tao would happily tell everything to Robert. <laughs> Tao's speaking style is very different from ordinary Japanese people. In my opinion, she is a unique girl character here. Tao immediately invited Robert to enter the nearby dungeon. Tao began to show off her strength to protect Robert, as well as to show her charm to Robert. However, Robert wasn't interested in her, and he immediately took the magic crystal there. Some time passed, and Robert found out that Tao always adventured alone even though Tao was a B-rank adventurer. Then they rested while chatting about key power. Tao admired Robert because he knew about Ki which was rarely known by others. Robert also tried to practice what Tao did to use Ki, but Robert suddenly coughed because his lungs were not accustomed to using this technique. Tao said that Robert needed to be careful not to force himself. The Ki technique would cause the lungs to feel like they were burning if not accustomed. Although this power is difficult to master, Tao was still willing to slowly teach Robert about key power. According to Tao, rather than Robert struggling to master the key technique, it would be better to master Tao's heart, the cutest girl in the world. Unfortunately, Robert didn't respond to Tao's words and preferred to practice key technique. He felt a slight explosion from Tao's key technique. This kid is truly crazy. Even Grimm thought that Lloyd was too obsessed with magic and ignored the girls around him. While Grimm was eating the cake provided by the maids, suddenly Silpha came to give sword training as usual. Lloyd <laughs> 
A few hours later, Tao managed to defeat the dungeon boss there and had taught Robert some key techniques. Not only that, Tao also saw that Robert had started to get used to using breathing as the basis for using key technique. Tao was very happy because she finally could have a talented boyfriend, even thinking too far ahead to marry Robert and making baby. By the way, now they just needed to take the treasures from the chest there and leave the dungeon. Robert was very interested in his exploration with Tao because this was something new for him. However, when Tao was about to open the treasure chest there, 